Hello everyone and welcome to the second episode of Listing Simple Application video series. My name is Leonardo and I work as a solution architect at Amazon. In this video, I will explain how the create offer workflow in the SP API listings sample application works. You can locate the source code for the SP API listings sample application inside the Selling Partner API samples GitHub repo. Let us access the home page of the app through the local host. Click on the create offer button to access the create offer workflow. Using this workflow, the user creates an offer on existing catalog item at Amazon. This workflow is not supported for the vendors. For vendors, the create offer button is in disabled state. The first step in this workflow is to search for existing catalog items. You can search the existing catalog items either by identifier or by keyword, but not both. All the supported types of identifiers are listed in this dropdown. Let us type chair into keywords text field and click search products button. The app uses the search catalog items SP API to search the products. The app shows only the first few search results here. The debug console at the bottom of every workflow shows the details of all the SP API calls made in that page. The debug console shows the raw SP API request payloads, response payloads, and errors from the SP API. Let us go to the debug console to inspect the search catalog items API request and response. The request contains the chair keyword and the marketplace ID configured in the settings page. The response contains the search result which met the chair keyword. There are several results in the response but the app fetches only the first page of results and display them. Click on the View Conditions drop-down to view the list of eligible conditions. The app invokes the Get Listings Restrictions SP API and loads all the eligible conditions dynamically into this drop-down. The List This Product button is disabled if the selling partner is ineligible to list the product in any single condition. Let us go to the debug console to inspect the Get Listings Restrictions API request and response. The request contains the ASIN and the marketplace ID configured in the settings page. The response contains all the conditions along with the eligibility condition. Only the conditions which are not restricted or require approval are shown in the UI. Click on the List This Product button. The app shows that text field to enter the SQ. As soon as the user types SQ information, the app makes a call to the Get Product Type Definitions API and fetches the schema. The app renders the Listing Attributes editor based on the fetched schema. Let us open the debug console to inspect the Get Product Type Definitions request and response. The request shows the requirement as listing offer only, which means the API returns the attribute definitions and requirements to create an offer. The request also mentions the schema version as latest, which means the API returns the most up-to-date version of attribute definitions and requirements. The response of the API contains a link to download the raw JSON schema. The app downloads the schema from this link, hands over the schema to the JSON form.io to handle the listing attributes editor. Let us quickly fill out this form. Click on the Run Schema Validations button to check if the data in the form conforms to the schema. If the data in the form doesn't conform to the schema, the Run Schema Validations button shows all the schema validation errors. The app uses the AJV's JSON Schema Validator library for the schema validation. Click the Submit button to submit the listing content to Amazon through the Put Listings Item API. Let us open the Debug Console and inspect the Put Listing Item request and response. The request sets the requirement as Listing Offer Only and includes all the attributes filled in the form. The response from the API shows the submission is accepted and returns a submission ID. The user has the option to download the content in the form as a JSON listing feed using this button. When the user clicks this button, the app exports the content as a JSON listing feed. 
the user can go to the book listings workflow edit the content if necessary and submit the feed for processing Congratulations, now you are ready to experiment with the Create Offer workflow. This is all I had for you today, hope you found this useful. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more SP API videos. In our next episode, we will walk you through how the book listings workflow in the SP API listing sample application works. Happy coding from all of us at the Amazon Selling Partner API team. Thanks for watching.